The Mercedes-Benz CLA. It is the entry point into the brand's lineup, but now it is the newest battery-powered vehicle on the automaker's next-generation electrified platform. Let's take a look at this all-new redesigned model and get a closer look at the design and the tech. Now, up front, we have a reimagination of a number of familiar design features from the CLA. You've got the similar grille to the previous generation, the windswept headlamps, but everything is just a little bit different. For example, the grille shape down here. We've got 142 individually addressable star-shaped LEDs, and they're going to surround a large illuminated Mercedes-Benz star logo. Now in the States, ours will be fully illuminated, the rim and all. In the European Union, you only get the illuminated star. Up front with the regular headlamps, they're now tied together with this light bar that cuts all the way across the front of the vehicle. And inside of each of the lights, you've got these big glowing star-shaped daytime running lights. So all in, you're looking at 145 glowing stars in this constellation. Now, to be honest with you, I didn't really love this design when I first saw it. I thought it was a little busy. But come here, have a closer look at this. The more I looked at this area right here, the more I kind of loved it. The way these lines sort of all converge and flow around the front of the vehicle remind me of the way that water bunches up at the front of a boat when it's sort of moving forward. And it gives this whole vehicle an element of motion. That sort of waves moving design motif, it's no wonder they call this the shark nose. And at the rear, we have tail lamps that sort of echo that sort of domino mask shape of the headlamps, the way they, they wrap around and tie together with this light bar. And they have the similar star-shaped tail lamps here. Okay, let's talk specs. The CLA with EQ technology. It'll be powered by a single or dual electric motor configuration. The base CLA 250 Plus features a 268 horsepower full-time electric motor on the rear axle, and it mates to those rear wheels via a two-speed transmission, which is interesting because most EVs, aside from some very premium performance EVs, only use a single-speed transmission, but this allows the CLA to get really good highway efficiency without compromising low-speed torque. Now, stepping up to the 350 4Matic adds a 107 horsepower on-demand e-motor to the front wheels, single-speed transmission there, bringing the total output to 340. Ponies. With a full battery, the EV is estimated to cruise for up to 492 miles on Europe's WLTP testing cycle. Now, estimates tend to be a bit more conservative for our US EPA cycle, but that's still impressive. We'll have a better idea of what American drivers can expect closer to launch. And when it's time to charge, the EV's 800 volt architecture means that the CLA is able to get back on the road quickly, adding 186 miles of range with just a 10 minute plug-in session at an appropriately powerful DC fast charger. Now overall, this new CLA is longer and taller than the previous generation, just by a bit. Now, mostly that's par for the course. Anytime you update a vehicle, it's gotta get a little bit bigger. Bigger numbers are better, but it's also a side effect of making room for the big 85.5 kilowatt hour battery that they have to squeeze between the wheelbase. That actually has another nice side effect of meaning that there's more leg room in the back. Now, squeezing into the back seat under this very coupe-like roofline can be a bit of a squeeze. But once you're in here, there is a surprising amount of leg room and a really good amount of headroom. And that's because every CLA comes standard with this class roof. So there's not a thick headliner above you. So you got a lot of space to spread out. Just make sure you don't bonk your head getting out of this thing. And shortly after launch, a mild hybrid model will join the lineup with a turbocharged 1.8 liter gasoline engine, a small 27 horsepower electric motor, and an eight speed dual clutch transmission, all combined in a front wheel drive configuration. The CLA with EQ Tech will be the first modern Mercedes with a frunk featuring an approximately carry on bag size 3.6 cubic foot storage bin under its hood. The hybrid model fills that space with its gasoline engine. Now here in the driver's seat, I'm treated to the next generation of the Mercedes-Benz User Experience Infotainment Suite, or MBUX. This is the Mercedes-Benz Super Screen. It is a massive glass panel that goes from pillar to pillar and features three displays in its most tricked out incarnation. Now in front of me, I've got a 10.25 inch digital instrument cluster. In the middle, there's the standard 14 inch main infotainment display. And over in front of the passenger seat is a 14 inch co-pilot seat. That's an optional upgrade. Now this whole system evolves the sort of 
hyper screen infotainment that we saw in the S class and the EQS with all sorts of integrations with Google Gemini, with ChatGPT, with OpenAI and Microsoft Azure. And it ties them all into a cohesive situation so you never really have to worry about which assistant you're talking to. You just speak to the car and it figures things out. So for example, hey Mercedes, what's a good Curryverse place nearby? I found Klein and Biss. It's a great place to get currywurst. People say the food Cancel. is absolutely delicious. That was a trick question. Everybody knows the best currywurst is in Berlin. They also have all sorts of new features that tie into entertainment, all sorts of new entertainment apps so that you can do things like watch movies, listen to audio, play games while you're parked and waiting for your vehicle to charge. Now, every CLA also rolls off the factory with a full host of Mercedes's driver aid sensor suite, as well as the most powerful dashboard processing power. And that means that they'll all be what the automaker calls level two plus plus ready or compatible with the Mercedes Drive Assist Pro driver aid system. And you can either get that at the point of sale or you can add it via an over the air update after you purchase the vehicle. And that's part of the whole connected nature of the system. Mercedes says that it will get better over time as they add new free and paid features over the lifetime of the vehicle. MB Drive Assist, the automaker's level two assistant system will be available at launch with familiar steering, adaptive cruise and braking assist type functions. MB Drive Assist Plus will come later with market specific functions, but we can expect technologies like automatic lane changes or even hands-off highway cruising to trickle down from Benz's flagship models. Now, as I mentioned, the CLA with EQ technology, that's this fully electric version right here with the big battery arrives in the United States later on this year. It'll be joined a couple of months thereafter with the 48 volt mild hybrid version. You can learn all about that and more over on cars.cnet.com. Drive safe and I'll see you next time.